we have a lot of work to do so let's just jump in here and keep it going here okay what we need to do now is start to create the railings here we're gonna need a set of railings for the uh, top staircase and also for the bottom staircase down here so let's start off with the top up here let's go back to the creation tab we'll go to railing and make sure you have snap turned on and this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a railing um, on the edge here on the bottom corner here of the first step in the staircase and click and drag and we're gonna go to the top one up here okay not here here And let's go to the uh, railing here, change the height to three feet. Okay, so this is what we end up with. Basically, the top of the railings match up right here. We can see that the railings are kind of floating in the air. Right now, there's nothing we can do about that, but that's okay. We'll fix that later. That's not a problem. We're not going to worry about that at the moment. All right. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to adjust the uh, the post because right now, we only have the the beginning post, the end post, and a post in the middle, which uh, doesn't look too good. The spacing is a bit too wide. So let's go to the post uh, spacing tool here. Now let's add some more posts. I think doing, I don't know about five posts. That might be uh, a little bit too much, but uh, let's hit close. Let's, let's look at the top post there. It, it might be a bit too much. For the moment, I'm going to reduce it. I'll do maybe four posts. That looks pretty good. If I need to change that later on, I can. I can always come in and change it. That's the good thing, so uh, I don't have to commit to it. All right, so I'm going to say I'm happy with that one. Now what I'm going to do is create a post for the bottom, uh, or should I say a railing for the bottom staircase. Let's go to the creation tool, railing. And we're going to create one from this corner down here of the first step up to the corner here of the uh, top step. Yeah, let's create something like that. We'll change the height. Go to the railing parameters. Take that height. Set it to three. It already has four posts, and we know that both staircases are the same exact dimensions. They have the same height and length and all that. So the po uh, the railings um, will work on each one because they're identical. Okay, so that looks good. And again, the bottom of the post doesn't uh, is just floating in the air, but that's okay. We're going to fix that later. Okay. Next thing to do is I'm going to go back to the stairs here, okay? And if you remember a long time ago, we talked about stringers well, very briefly. I'm going to turn on stringers. Stringers is going to create this automatic piece of geometry here, which I'm going to use as a detail to make it look like the, uh, uh, the railings here are actually connected to the staircases, okay? But the uh, stringers right now, the default size, it's a bit small and narrow, which I don't really like. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust those parameters. So let me close all this stuff. And I'm just going to open up the stringers parameter rollout because that's the only one I'm going to need right now. And the depth right now is 6 inches. So let's double that. Then double 6 inches is 1 foot. And you can see the depth, it becomes wider now, which uh, looks pretty good. I like that. Okay. And the width right now is a bit, um, a bit too much, too little, 1 inch. So let's go with 2 inches. And two inches, as you can see, makes it uh, makes it a little bit bigger. Let's try two and a half inches. Mm, that's gonna be it's a bit big, but it looks very sturdy and pretty nice. I'm gonna keep it like that. If I want to, I can always come back and change it. The offset's perfectly fine. I'm not gonna change that. As you can see, what the offset does just kind of offsets it and raises it or lowers it. I'm gonna leave it at the default. It was perfectly fine. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the railing here, and I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna move it. And try to center it with my eyes right there on the uh, stringer. And you can see that looks pretty good. Later on, I could come in here and um, use techniques that I've used in the past already to align that uh, perfectly well. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it like that and say I'm happy. Okay. I'm going to come up to the other staircase here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Let's go to the parameters. Add stringers. Then we're going to... Go to the uh, stringers uh, parameter rollout, and let's uh, let's use the same parameters here. You can see the stringers kind of narrow, so again, 
Let's make this uh, one foot for the depth. Let's take the width here, make it two and a half inches like we did with the other one. And two and a half inches does look pretty, pretty wide. Let's see if we can get away with doing two inches instead. Okay, two inches looks, looks pretty good actually. So you know what, I'm going to go with two inches for the moment. Again, it's tentative so I can always come in here and adjust and change things if I don't like them. Okay, so I'm going to say I'm happy with the stringer for the uh, top staircase there. I'm going to go to the, I'm going to grab this railing here on the top and again I'm going to eyeball this one. I know it's not aligned perfectly but I can always alter that later right now, I'm just roughing this out. You also notice that we have uh, stringers that were created automatically on both sides, not just the right but the left side of the staircase, which uh, is not a good thing because we don't need this extra geometry kind of penetrating our wall right there. It's going to look weird and can cause rendering artifacts later on down the road. So we want to get rid of that, but since it's not an editable poly, we just can't grab it and get rid of it. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I can always uh, get rid of that later. So I'm not going to convert this to an editable poly just in case I have to come back and make changes to the parameters and things from my staircase. Okay? So I'm going to leave the staircase alone for now. I'm going to say that's good uh, for the moment. That's roughed out and uh, blocked out and looks pretty good there for, uh, for the stairs. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here and uh, we'll just keep chipping away at this project in the next one.